వెల్కమ్ టు ఇండియన్ టూరిస్ట్ టుడే వీఆర్ వాచింగ్ నాగార్జున సాగర్ డ్యామ్ నాగార్జున సాగర్ డ్యామ్ వాజ్ బిల్ట్ అక్రాస్ ద కృష్ణా రివర్ ఎట్ నాగార్జున సాగర్ వేర్ ద రివర్ ఈజ్ ఫార్మింగ్ బౌండరీ బిట్వీన్ నల్గొండ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ స్టేట్ అండ్ గుంటూరు డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ స్టేట్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ద కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ డ్యూరింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద డ్యామ్ వాజ్ బిట్వీన్ ద ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ నైన్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫైవ్ అండ్ నైన్టీన్ సిక్స్టీ సెవెన్ The dam created a water reservoir whose gross storage capacity is 11,472,000 cubic meters. The dam is 490 feet tall from its deepest foundation and 0.99 miles long with 26 flood gates which are 42 feet wide and 45 feet tall. Nagarjun Sagar was the earliest in the series of larger infrastructure projects initiated for the green revolution in india it is also one of the earliest multi purpose irrigation and hydroelectric projects in india the dam provides irrigation water to the prakasham guntur krishna kammam west godavari and nalgonda districts along with hydroelectricity generation The proposal to construct a dam to use the excess waters of the Krishna River was planned by the Nizam of Hyderabad and engaged British engineers in 1903 to irrigate Telangana. Since then, various competing sites in Siddheswaru, Hyderabad and Pulchintala were identified as the most suitable locations for the reservoirs. The preser- The preservance of the Raja Vasireti Ramagopala Krishna Maheshwar Prasad who donated 55,000 acres of his land and 55 million British pounds in wealth paved way for the site identification, design and construction of the dam. Nagarjun Sagar was the earliest in the series of modern temples taken up to usher in the Green Revolution in India. The dam was built with local know how under the able engineering leadership of KL Rao. Project construction was officially inaugurated by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru on 10 December 1955 and proceeded for the next 12 years. The reservoir water was released into the left and right right bank canals by Prime Minister Indira Gandhi in 1967. Construction of the hydro power plant followed with generation increase between 1978 and 1985 as additional units came into service. The construction of the dam submerged an ancient Buddhist settlement, Nagarjuna Konda, which was the capital of the Ikshvaku dynasty in the 1st and 2nd centuries, the successors of the Satavahana in the eastern Deccan. Thank you.